It was supposed to be a night without worries, an escape from the stress of the pandemic as 50,000 people, mostly youngsters in their teens and 20s, gather before an outdoor stage to watch Houston-born rapper Travis Scott. But the energy quickly turned to panic. The minute Travis started performing, it's like people, like, like they stop seeing in front of them. They're running, they're going crazy and pushing and everything. I don't know where, I guess like a group of people or somebody just pushed and then everything just like, you just, it was compressed. Like you were just compressed the whole point. Let's go! Let's go! Witnesses reported being squeezed to the point of suffocation and for some victims, cardiac arrest. All of the identified deceased were under 30. No parent, no friend, no sibling should see their loved one off to a concert by a world-renowned artist and not be able to expect them to come home safely. And when we read these ages, 14, 16, 21, 21, 23, 23, 27, it just breaks your heart. Even as victims were being treated, the concert continued for another 40 minutes, according to police. The performer paused several times to call for medical attention for ailing fans. Somebody passed out right here. Hold on, don't touch him, don't touch him. And this young woman frantically tried to alert a camera operator to the worsening crisis. Houston police have opened a criminal investigation, and the city's mayor has offered condolences to the victims' families with vows to find answers. This incident is being thoroughly investigated and reviewed, uh, thoroughly. It is important for us to ascertain from last night what took place, what happened, uh, where missteps may have occurred. It's still unclear what caused the crowd to surge, but police say there was a credible report of someone injecting a security officer in the neck with an apparent drug. The officer fell unconscious and was revived with Narcan, a medicine to treat opioid overdose. A lot of narratives out there right now, a lot of them, on social media and even last night. I think that all of us need to be respectful of the families and make sure that we follow the facts and the evidence. Investigators say at this stage, nothing is confirmed and nothing is off the table. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera.